So 12th November, 68 constituencies in Himachal Pradesh will see polls and it will be a one-phase election which will be taking place in Himachal Pradesh counting on 8th of December. But as the CC is emphasizing on convention, so does it mean going with the convention, the, the counting of uh, votes will also take place in the state of Gujarat just as it happened last time around. Arundhata Jyoti Kamal is joining us live. Uh, Jyoti, going with the convention, we can safely say perhaps that when it comes to both these states, yes, the announcements have happened just of the state of Himachal Pradesh, but the counting last time around also in 2017 happened together of both Gujarat and Himachal. Yes. Yes, that's right. In fact, if you go by what the CEC just said, he specifically mentioned what we were talking about earlier, that the weather is a complicating factor in Himachal Pradesh, which perhaps led to this decision in terms of when does the uh, voting, when does the voting actually take place? And that's where the date has now been set. Like we were saying, the last time around, it was 9th of uh, November. Before that, it was 4th of November. It's 12th of November. There is snow that's already started falling in the upper reaches of Himachal Pradesh. So while the voting takes place, the counting date has yet to be kind of figured out for Gujarat. And that's where one can probably see that convention being followed there. But for now, very clearly, it is the weather that is being the dri driving factor here in terms of deciding the date, which is 12th of November now. Yes, that has been the case. Uh and multiple issues, certainly. Pallavi Ghosh is also continuing to be with us. Pallavi, so the dates are announced as far as Himachal is concerned. And uh, the date for nomination, the other processes will begin any, in the next one week. Uh, what will be the big battle that, will be, that you will be watching out for in that hill state? Well, I mean, uh, whatever happened the last time round, for example, unemployment, inflation, rising prices, those are usually the key issues. Uh, there's also an uh, anti incumbency which usually works against the present government. But more than that, Maria, uh, normally, like Punjab, uh, Himachal Pradesh also throws up a cyclical pattern. But you know, very often real politics defies those patterns, which we saw in the case of Punjab once, where the Kali Dal came back to power uh, uh, two times round. So, will that happen in Himachal Pradesh once again? Uh, uh, this is one state I would say when the Congress party is quite confident and gung ho about. And the reason is that unlike in Gujarat, the impact of the AAP has not been that harsh. The AAP too has faced an exodus of sorts, many of them joining the BJP, few of them joining the Congress party. If I were to talk about the two main political parties, the BJP clearly the party in power, the charisma of the Prime Minister, the fact that he understands the state completely because he has been in charge of Himachal Pradesh, as General Secretary when he was a part of the BJP organization, so to say. Um, so I think that's one factor which works in his favor. The last few development projects which have been announced, the SOPs which have been given to apple growers were the backbone of the Himachali economy. That's also something which works for the BJP. But what works for the Congress is, of course, hopefully for them as they think the anti-incumbency, the unemployment, rising prices, they think those are the factors which they can bring forward. Also, very quickly, in Himachal Pradesh, the Congress faces a problem. And the problem is the legacy of Veer Bhadra Singh. That's I right. mean, last time round, Veer Bhadra Singh is a stalwart who was a giant leader. And I think the Congress acknowledges that without them, and without him rather, they are on a back foot. So many of the posters that you pass through Himachal Pradesh of the Congress party does show Veer Bhadra Singh predominantly. And that's also one of the reasons why his wife, Pratibha Singh, has also been made so to say, the face of the Congress party in the state. So will that legacy of Veer Bhadra help in combat the power of the BJP, which is in power over in Himachal Pradesh? Uh, Pallavi, before I let you go, so you are seeing this uh, bipolar contest or is Ahmadmi party really a factor? You know, because we get a different picture sitting in Delhi, but when we travel any pole-bound state, it throws up a completely different surprise. That are there factors, what appears to be visible from a distance, really at play on ground. Now, I wouldn't say from a distance over here, but the point over here, Maria, is that Ahmadi Party is, I would say, somewhat of a factor very much there. Uh, you know, when I do travel to Himachal Pradesh, we do get to meet a lot of people who are a little restless with the Congress as well as an alternative. Or oh, to a large extent, many of them are also restless with the BJP. I mean, as many of us know, Jairam Thakur, there was this speculation, is he going to be replaced just ahead of the elections? Clearly, that's not going to be the case. He's going to be a sitting chief minister when the party faces the polls. What the AAP capitalizes on is that restlessness with both the political parties. But AAP has also been seeing an exodus. I mean, we saw a large number of leaders who had joined the Army party in Himachal going back and joining the BJP and some of them joined the Congress. 
for now the aap aadmi party's focus has largely been there on uh, gujarat but there are parts of himachal pradesh like una which is adjoining to punjab and in punjab the aam aadmi party is in par will that have a spillover effect that's also one assumption which is working on and therefore i would certainly as a political reporter not completely negate the aap factor how it works out in the days to go the concentration of aap on himachal pradesh till the shift the concentration of gujarat these are going to be a part of the changing dynamics all right um, arun dhata is joining me as well arun the prime minister has been leading from the front in both these states one is his home state the other a state where he was general secretary in the past so he understands each and every region of the hill state quite well uh, he was in himachal in una only yesterday is traveling to dharmshala and solan uh, over the next few days that is the message that he is sending that he is on the front line that he is going to be the face of these elections the biggest mascot of the bjp what is the kind of preparations that has been in place for the from the bjp because we do know that all the senior leaders all the top ministers have been told to park themselves literally in multiple districts be it in himachal or in gujarat the bjp as always sending a message that it that they will not leave anything to chance Well, that's right, uh, Maria. And uh, Prime Minister Modi, whenever he is in Himachal Pradesh, uh, he never forgets to mention his uh, uh, bond with the state. And uh, every visit in last uh, last one month, which Prime Minister Modi has uh, has done of Himachal Pradesh, he has all the time talked about uh, the learnings which he has got from the state and uh, you know the way people welcomed him. Now, you know, uh, as uh, we were discussing, the kind of a factor, the kind of role which Prime Minister Modi is going to play in the state is something which is very, very uh, important because we know the culture of Himachal Pradesh. Uh, you know, every five year there is a change in the government, and this time around, why it is important for uh, the BJP to actually, you know, uh, not to let uh, let you know let the let the let that. Uh, the change of five year happen uh, because the way they are uh, you know taking on congress party the way they are projecting congress party that uh, it's a complete domination and decimation of the congress party and congress party is on a decline mode so if uh, bjp does not perform well in himachal pradesh it will not have a good sign or a signal and therefore we had seen prime minister modi uh, doing flurry of the rallies road shows in himachal pradesh mm. various inaugurations are taking place uh, and of course most recent one was yes today when he flagged off that uh, one day bharat express from uh, una okay. and that express will not only increase the tourism in himachal pradesh uh, but that will also uh, bring the state uh, uh, you know that will also connect yes. the state uh, with the national capital as right. well and before that we had I seen i have just enough uh, time 